Oh man, Earwig and the Witch. A girl learning to become a witch and there's also a black cat in it. Sounds so original in anime. After seven years, this is the best that Studio Ghibli can come up with. Earwig and the Witch is about this young girl named Earwig. She gets adopted by a witch. They go to this house full of mystery and magic. And I'm just reading the synopsis on IMDb because I can't be asked writing my own words. This is the 23rd film by Studio Ghibli. And we've waited like seven years. The last one was when Marnie was there. And before you say, oh, what about the Red Turtle? That was co-produced with a German film distribution called The Wild Bunch. This is directed by Goro Miyazaki, the son of the great Hayao Miyazaki. And I hate to say, he's nowhere on the same level as his dad. I mean, when you think about it, Goro Miyazaki has worked on Ocean's Waves and From Up the Poppy Hill, which I consider them to be the weaker Studio Ghibli films. And again, I hate to say it, Earwig and the Witch is another weak film by a beloved, one of the greatest animation studios. This is the first film by Studio Ghibli that goes for the computer graphic animation style and from what I know so far, Studio Ghibli will keep doing the hand-drawn animation stuff. I know Hayao Miyazaki is making a comeback with a film known as How Do You Live which goes back to the hand-drawn animation, thank god by the way. Now the CG animation is just getting slaughtered by critics and audiences and I'm on the same boat as them. It looks plasticky, it lacks depth and detail, it looks like a cutscene from a PlayStation 2 game. I appreciate a lot of people put effort into this and it's not embarrassingly bad but I've seen bad films from other studios like Pixar, Disney, DreamWorks with better animation. It's easy to point the finger at the animation but to me it's the lack of story that really drags this film down for me. Earwig and the Witch is full of potential and I'm not gonna lie there's some really cool ideas to this film but the film never really explores them. By the end of the film, it feels like an end of an act one. It could have had an extra 30 minutes just to enrich the story. The way the film ends with Earwig opening the door to her long lost mum. The problem is Earwig doesn't know that's her mum. I mean, the film never explores that. All she knows is that the red haired woman was in a band and she's actually, she was good friends with the people that adopted her. I mean, this would have more, worked more efficient if this was like a 12 episode anime. Plus, Earwig is just so unlikable, personality and design-wise. Her hairpiece makes her look like some sort of bug. And her personality, the way she gets adopted at the beginning and all her friends say goodbye to her, she just walks off and she never sees them again. She just ignores them. She's just so arrogant and annoying. Overall, Earwig and a Witch was a mediocre comeback from a beloved animation studio. Whilst the animation is a complete misfire, to me it was more of a story problem than an animation problem. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. If this was like a first film from a new anime studio, I would have been less harsher on it. But due to the fact this is done by the greatest anime studio, it doesn't hit that high bar that we want from Studio Ghibli. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Go like, share and subscribe. Let me know what did you think of Earwig and the Witch. Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.